Hello, in this video we're going to look at how a tax on output decreases labor demand. Here's a setup. A firm is characterized by the following. Faces an inverse market demand of P equals 10 minus Q. The firm's production function is Q equals L to the 1 half. L is units of labor. The firm pays a wage of W and a per unit tax on output of T. We want to show that a tax increase reduces the number of workers hired. That is, the derivative of the labor demand equation with respect to taxes is negative. So without a tax, profit maximization requires a firm to satisfy the following condition. Hire workers up until the point where the marginal revenue times the marginal product of labor equals the wage. So marginal revenue times the marginal product of labor equals wage. Profit maximizing hiring decision. With a tax, profit maximization requires a firm to satisfy a slightly modified condition. Here, the marginal revenue times the marginal product of labor minus the tax times the marginal product of labor. So again, to think of this here, we're kind of looking at sort of the, the net marginal revenue product on the left-hand side. When you hire an additional worker, that worker produces output. You can sell that output and your revenue goes up. Unfortunately, some of that output, that additional output is taxed, so that has to be offset from that increased revenue. And just factoring out marginal product of labor on the left-hand side, we have our profit maximizing condition in the face of a tax. So once again, our profit maximizing condition, we have the firm's inverse market demand and the firm's production function. So now we just have to solve for marginal revenue and marginal product of labor. So let's get marginal revenue. We're going to get total revenue, price times quantity. Price is 10 minus Q, and that's all multiplied by the Q, the quantity. And taking the derivative of total revenue, we get back 10 minus 2Q. Marginal product of labor, taking the derivative of the production function with respect to labor, we get the following result. Plugging our results into our profit maximizing condition. Substituting in for marginal revenue, substituting in for the marginal product of labor. Multiplying both sides through by... 2L raised to the 1 half power. And now we're going to take this Q here and just set it equal to L to the 1 half. So make a substitution. Q is nothing more than the square root of L. And moving this minus 2L to the 1 half power over to the right hand side. Factoring out a 2L to the 1 half power on the right hand side. Dividing through by the wage plus 1, rewriting that last condition, dividing through again by this time by 2, and now squaring both sides. We have the following, labor demand, and then taking the derivative of the labor demand equation with respect to t, the tax, 2 comes down in front, subtract 1 from that exponent up here, and then we look inside the parentheses and we take the derivative of minus t, which is just minus 1. And simplifying, we have the negative up here. So indeed, as the tax increases, the firm hires fewer workers. Okay, that's it.